Alright, so what is up YouTube today? We're going to be reacting to subscribers episode 3. Um, as you guys can see over here, these are all the comments from the last video. This video didn't do actually that well. I think the notifications might have not been working or something. But you can see like these are all the comments over here. Add me, that's my PSN, all that good stuff. There's a lot of people commenting and stuff like that. So obviously we're going to pick a random guy from here. If you guys want to have a chance for the next video, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe, turn on notifications. Put your PSN down below um, in the comment section. There's a lot of people right here, as you guys can see. We're going to pick a random guy from here, so let's see who wins. All right, so here's the lucky winner, KKA NBA. Um, as you guys can see, that is his PSN. He actually hasn't played for a while, he said in the comment section. So hopefully it might be someone, you know, not that good at the game, so we can troll around and stuff like that. And let's get straight into his stats. Alright, so here we are guys, as you guys can see over here is Prestige Master level 84, um, let's go into his stats, so he's played 21 days, so I think this is not a new account, so this is probably his first account, as you guys can see over here he's got 119,000 kills, with a 2.49 KD, 3.42 win loss and a 474 score per minute, he's got the kill chain, he's got the nuked out, so that means like based off these stats he seems like a really good player, let's have a look at his profile snapshot, 4 man with the C4, pure skill over here, let's go, and the man of war is his most used weapon, so he's got 24% accuracy with it with a 2.3 KD, which is pretty good, and he's got the BMP as his second most used weapon, 1.71 KD, 20% accuracy, Ken 44, 21 accuracy with a 2.05 KD. Kudo 21 accuracy with a 1.84 KD. M87, he's got 27 accuracy with a 2.05 KD. I mean, the, as you guys can see, these are his most used weapons, and he uses a bit of the other weapons as well. He kind of mixes it up, so that's pretty nice. Um, let's go into his specialist. As you guys can see over here, he's got a 4.67 kills per game with the Ripper. I mean, that's surprising because. A lot of people don't run the Ripper, so I mean, maybe he plays uplink a lot. A lot of people that do run Ripper usually play uplink, so that's, I mean, that's my prediction over here pretty much. Um, his second most used specialist is the Scythe. He's got 3.63 kills per game with a 2,213 kills, so he's pretty good with the Scythe as well. Tempest is his third most, 3.45 kills per game, 891 kills. Connect Karma, 2.28 kills per game and 757 kills he's got in total. So, I mean, these are his main, you know, specialists. He's used the Purifier a bit as well, 4.71 kills per game. But, you know, he runs Ripper mostly and sometimes the Scythe and Tempest, I feel like, with Kinetic Karma. So, that's his main specialist over there, which is the Ripper equipment over here. So, as you guys can see over here, he does run the C4, which, you know, you guys know that how much I hate C4s. Because they don't take any skill to use. Like you just place them down. You know when someone runs over, you just double tap. You know his square button, and he's dead. And you know if he doesn't have flat jacket on, he's gonna die every time. A lot of people use it for spawn trapping, which is really annoying. I mean, I like it when people just you know use gun on gun, and you know you get gunfights on rather than you know people just running C4 stuff like that. He uses a bit of the trip mine shock charges, but nothing crazy. So it's mainly you know he runs the C4s as you guys can see over here. Score streaks. He runs the UAV. Hater and counter it seems like from here like I feel like he kind of mixes it up He's used this 9,000 times 2,000. I mean pretty much runs the hater all the time in the UAV It seems like can't UAV is used a few times as well He does run the Wraith and the Raps maybe when he's playing solo and stuff like that um, So we're gonna have to look into that his most played game mode I mean pretty much you can tell when someone runs the Ripper it's usually up playing so he's got 2.78 KD with a 491 score per minute up playing which is pretty good I don't know if he plays solo or in parties but obviously gonna have to find out or we won't find out to be honest maybe he might just be playing solo in a game or in a six man in a game so we'll have to see that um free throw as you guys can see over here 427 score per minute with a 2.23 kd which is pretty good as you guys know he's got a nuked out as well team deathmatch 2.14 kd with a 378 score per minute which is not that good honestly but maybe you know he's not that good of a tdm player we never know 1.77 kd on domination with a 522 score per minute which is a bit lower as well, but his score per minute is not that bad, so I feel like he's he's not a campo, maybe he plays a bit aggressive, maybe he plays in parties, we don't know. Um, 1.93 KD on hard point was a 527 score per minute, which is pretty decent as well. So his most played game mode is pretty much uplink, so I'm probably going to try and you know react to an uplink gameplay to you know see how he plays. Um, let's see if he's played arena, he's got 502 kills in arena with a 1.29 KD, Four win loss and a 212 score per minute. He actually runs the Ripper and Arena as well, which is you know 
pretty surprising to be honest. I mean, Arena usually run Heat Wave or you know something like that. But. So I don't know if he plays in parties or if he plays solo, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna pick a random gameplay and let's see how he does. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are. As you guys can see over here, um, he's playing Nuketown Uplink. Um, I think he does pretty decent on this game as well. So I don't know if he's playing in a party or not. I have zero clue on that. I think he might even be playing solo. So let's get straight into and see how he plays. He's throwing the Man of War, as you guys can see over here. He's running the C4, stuff like that. Some night shots from that guy. Um, gets cleaned up for the other. I mean, as you guys can see, like already he's not war running that much. He's playing mainly like a bit boots in the ground and haven't seen him use the C4. He's still running the Ripper, which I mean is not really a surprise. That is his most used specialist. Sees that guy behind him. I don't know what his Man of War setup is. I know he's running grip. And don't really know about anything else. I think he might be running off the burner. I'm pretty sure he will be. So so far he's hitting some nice shots. His aim is not that bad, honestly. His aim is pretty decent. Sees that guy cleans him up. He has decent map awareness, I feel like, as well. Cleans that guy up as well. Movement, movement so far doesn't look that smooth, but his but movement is not the only thing on Black Ops. If you have a good aim, you can overcome that. His aim is pretty decent. Obviously, he's using the Man of War, which is I mean, pretty easy to use. I use it quite often myself. So he's that guy. He's got the Ripper on now. Let's see how he uses the Ripper. He's got the Wraith already. Gets the Hater as well. This is probably the best gameplay I've reacted to so far. I think this is my third reaction video on subscribers. And this guy's pretty decent. He's 13 and 2 at the moment. And his teammates are going 2 and 6 and 0 and 3. So that means he's playing solo for sure. He's 100% playing solo. I haven't really seen him chuck the C4 as well so far, so I don't know how often he uses that, but you guys can see he is pretty good at the game. Like, sees that guy, cleans him up as well. See how he moves around the map. As you guys can see, he's not war running that much. He's got the Ripper again. I want to see how he uses the Ripper then. A lot of people use the Ripper while they have the, you know, the drone in their hand. I don't know if he's going to do the same thing. He's grabbing the ball right now. Is he going to dunk it or he went for the dunk? I mean, they're losing, so that's the smart play over there. He's near to his Wraith again, so... Let's see if he can get his streaks over and over again. He's got the side. He's currently 28-2, and two, so he's absolutely tearing the other team at the moment. And he's definitely playing solo. There's no way he's playing in parties, so... He's actually playing really, really good so far. He's got the Ripper. He's not used it. Let's see if we can get the hater. Sees that guy. Oh, there's a guy next to him. Oh, he just absolutely bamboozles him right there. <laughs> just destroys. I don't know what the other guy was doing right there. Wait. Wait a sec. Like, we need to watch that again. So, what was the enemy doing right there? Wasn't he just... Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. You guys explain to... Like, what is he doing? Like, like, what, what, what is that? Wait, 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 wait. What is he doing? Wait, what is this guy doing right now? Is, is he changing his class setup next to an enemy? I don't even know. I mean, he's got his state 3 and 2 at the moment. Absolutely tearing the opposition. He's got full streaks once again. I wonder if he's causing his streaks. He should, honestly. Causing his raps, causing his rave. Aether, he's trying to close. Could be one of his things. He cleans these guys up. Obviously you can see like the other team aren't that good, but he's not a bad player. He is killing them pretty quickly. His aim is pretty decent. Cleans that guy up. Oh, he gets lowered by that guy. 39 and 3 at the moment. Absolutely on a tear at the moment. Haven't even seen him use the C4. I mean, so, I mean, look, I criticize people for running C4s and he's not even using the C4 at the moment. Oh, that's a bit unlucky. I'm, I mean, he had a hater up there. He should have just probably, you know, Try to maybe use the Ripper or something, but I mean, always looking to improve. That's what that's the word I always use. Like you're always looking to get better at the game. And as you guys can see over here, like he's just, he is pretty good. 44 and 4 at the moment gets that dunk in. 4-6 at the moment. His team is losing by two points, but with all these streets here, and you know, with the Wraith and stuff like that, he should be able to get some more points in for his team. Sometimes. Uh, this is what I wonder a lot whenever I play solo a lot like when your teammates can't kill They either play too much OBJ or they don't play OBJ at all. There's no in-between 
in between as in like you know making the game go long and stuff like that they don't do that they only either just cap out the game or they just you know don't do anything they basically don't kill they don't do anything in the game which is really annoying as you guys can see it's 47 and 4 at the moment takes his eyes out right there Ooh, that was nice as well he's pretty good with the rip i mean he uses it quite often gets that gets his streaks again chucks the c4 that's the first time i've seen him use that c4 so I think he doesn't rely on it, but he runs it. Like sometimes maybe just put it there. Like it's mostly a free kill. I'm surprised he didn't kill him there. Maybe his teammate killed him. I don't know. He sees that guy. Oh, that, that's unlucky. That's just unlucky. Panic knife right there. Um, 50 and five at the moment, and this is only the first stop. Can he drop a hundred kills on uplink? Like this is a random game. Like I said, I'm not picking and choosing games. Like. I clicked on uplink and I saw this and I said, alright, I'm gonna react to his new town uplink gameplay because you know he runs the ripper stuff like that. So I was wondering if he spawn traps. You guys can clearly see he's playing solo firstly. The guy who's eleven and three has just joined the game, so he wasn't even in his, in the game before, so he's absolutely on a tear at the moment. He's currently what just going in. Let's skip into the second half, let's see what he does. So he's got his streaks again and he's got the hater and the wraith so let's see how many kills he can drop this game see the couple of mid map gets in the he plays a bit more i want to say he plays slow but he plays a bit more smart that's what he does he's not playing slow like he does he's not like he's campaign or stuff like that he doesn't war run as like you know like there's a lot of jetpackers that just war on everywhere on new town which gets really annoying but he's not one of those people he plays plays at his own pace, like kind of boots on the ground a bit, but obviously uses his jump on. But as you guys can see, he's not really wall running and stuff like that. He's on a tear. He's got a wraith again, 62 and 6 at the moment, and he's that like, his shot is really good at the moment. His shot is he's feeling hot at the moment. His teammates are getting streaks as well. They're 13 6 up. I don't know if they're gonna cap out the game or. No, but as you guys can see, they're 64 and 6 at the moment. Usually, when the other team starts leaving, I stop calling them my streaks, you know, so they don't leave. As you guys see, like, there's only two enemies in the other team, but from what I've seen, honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I think he's a decent player. Firstly, it's not a reset account. Which, like, he isn't often, he's a good player, but not, you know, a lot of good players now have reset accounts because, you know, they want to have a higher accuracy with the MA or something like that. And, you know, you guys can clearly see it's not a reset account. Uh, he's not a player. Let's see if he caps it out. If I was him, I would let this game go longer, but it seems like he wants to play the OBJ. He actually wants to cap it out, which is pretty interesting, honestly. 69 and 7 at the moment. I mean, honestly, based on this, like, the only main flaw with him is, like, you know, obviously it's the man of boys using, which I use as well, but you can still see he's got a good aim. Main flaw is his movement, I feel like, but, you know, his shot kind of makes up for it. He's got a decent aim in the game. Um, wasn't expecting this honestly like he said he doesn't play this game often as well in the comment section so as you guys can see he went 72 and 7 which is absolutely insane like i said this is a random game i didn't pick and choose or stuff like that i just picked whatever game there is i picked that game and you know i saw nuketown and i said all right this game is probably gonna be fast paced and you know i play nuketown a lot myself so Judging off this, he went. Obviously, the other team were clueless, but I mean, if you're going to go 72 and 7, it's not often you're going to play against really good players. So he went in, he went, he got love, you know, he was playing OBJ as well. A lot of people were like, oh, he doesn't play OBJ, he doesn't play OBJ. You don't play OBJ when you don't need to, all right? If you're winning the game, you don't need to play OBJ. But this guy was still playing OBJ. So 72 and 7, I'm honestly really impressed. He had a good shot, decent reaction time. Didn't use the C4s that much, so I mean. He does run them, but he doesn't use them. He doesn't rely on them, if you know what I mean. Some people, as soon as they get scavengers, just chuck the C4, but he doesn't do that. He uses the Ripper, and you guys saw that he was playing solo as well. So this guy is a, actually a really good player from what I've seen. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to have a chance, comment down below with your PSN. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'm out. Peace.